don't know. I know, I didn't understand. We're at Studio of Reversal right now. My mom is taking a picture. We're in front of this big tall tree. walking around and I see other people vlogging and stuff they're just around here and then there's the little mystery run right there you guys can see you got extra head in the back of your head the back of his head is you're taking up your spot man you could have stood there with him standing you got yourself a picture just like this lovely lady there you go it is right oh come on in girl you get yourself a lovely picture too that makes sense here we go it is. It's an interesting angle. I don't know why everybody likes to do this angle over there. I don't know what is coming through small brush. So we just got out of the Harry Potter land or whatever, and then we got on this like uh first river and thing that took us in like these uh seats and then it moved us around and stuff. So Right now, uh, we're about to go into the store. I'm waiting for my cousin to get out of the bathroom, and then we're gonna go to the store and look. So, yeah. Okay. I hit it though. It's not that long. Huh? I don't know, if you want. <laughs> I think that was like beer, but it wasn't. I'm get another dollar. You see one? Yeah, one. <laughs> Introduce you to the Universal has produced throughout the years over 8,000 films. 
Now, it all started over 100 years ago, March 15th, 1915. That's when our founder, Carl Lumley, opened the gates to Universal Studios Hollywood. Now, on that day, he proclaimed, Universal is the strangest city in the world. And it is strange. I can attest to that. It is a city as well. We have our own fire station. We have our own shave station. Post office, zip code. And Carl Lumley wanted audiences to laugh and cry and sit on the edge of their seats. And judging by all the films represented here on the timeline, He's accomplished that many times over. Now one thing that all of these films have in common is a lot of the things you see in these movies are things that are often based around illusions. You guys are going to be seeing lots of examples of that if you're seeing our tour. But just ahead of us, that is no illusion. That's our studio. We're about to dri drive on to the front lot of our studio. Now, you know the front lot is where we have most of our sound stages. The sound stages are where they shoot the interior scenes to some of your favorite television shows and movies. It's on our Peacock streaming network. Now, another show that's been shooting here on the lot is a show called Hacks. They've been shooting inside stages 16 and 17 on your left. Now, Hacks just won a slew of Emmy Awards, including one for its uh, lead actress, uh, Jean Smart. She won uh, the Best Actress in a Comedy Series Emmy for her work on the first season of that show. Now, Hacks also shoots inside Stage 21, which is just ahead over here on the left, just beyond the production base camp setting for the series The Good Place. So if you're a fan of that show, you're going to have a great photo op here on the tour. On your left-hand side is our production bungalows. It's where some Hollywood stop writers, producers, directors. Now, picture cars and we have a couple of our fact and furious picture cars if you're a fast fan i have some good news for you we're going to show you some of the picture cars that were featured in the latest fast movie f9 a little bit later on we have the gyrosphere from jurassic world just one of them now if you saw jurassic world you're probably wondering where the glass around the gyrosphere is a giant bubble well, that was another Hollywood illusion. There was no actual glass. That was all added in post-production using scenes. Now, you guys might remember the mobile lab from this scene in the movie The Lost It Might Be True. You know, they say that usually you hear a low rumbling sound before a flash. Luckily, we don't hear that, so it'll be fine. Hey, oh no. Oh! 
yourselves a big round of applause. You survived the earthquake, the big one. Yes, that was our earthquake attraction. It's been part of our studio tour for over 30 years. And I know someone's... Movie stuff. Artist working shark and show business. Works here every single day. But you know, he didn't always work. That's a much more line. Center. Dominic Toretto's Black Charger. If you're a fan of the series, you know how iconic that picture car truly is. And speaking of iconic, just around the corner are two Hollywood's most iconic film sets. We're safe, we're safe, don't worry. Where are we? Oh yeah. This is the spectacular plane crash set site from Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. It's an alien invasion. Oh yes, now that is an actual 747. Allow that to happen. Now that you know the dire consequences if we fail, I need to hear loudly who out there I can count on.